So, you ready? Hi, my name is Renee and I have been doing tattoo removal for about seven years at Pulse Light Clinic now and today I'm going to tell you some of the truths and discomforts of tattoo removal. Stay tuned. So pain and discomforts with tattoo removal, the most painful part of it is the treatment itself. When you are having your treatment, I would always advise my clients to probably have a chamomile tea before coming in, just to calm yourself. And then, probably I would advise you to put some Emila 5% cream on, half an hour to an hour before treatment. This won't completely take the pain away, but it will make it more comfortable for you to do so. By do so, I mean do your treatment. <laughs> when you're on the bed, about to get the laser, it's not gonna be fun. <laughs> You, it kind of feels like a hot elastic band flicking against the skin. Obviously, depending on what area of the skin it's on, it's gonna be more painful. So wrist, maybe ankles, lower back is surprisingly quite painful due to the nerve endings. Um, so you're going to want to be putting Emila 5 on if you do find it to be more painful. Side effects after you've had your treatments. Now, initially, straight after treatment, you're going to get swelling and it's going to be tingling. I when I've had tattoo removal, what I would say it feels like is a bee sting. So it's gonna be tingling and swollen and sore, definitely for the first three to four hours, probably 24 hours. Now, depending on the weather as well, if we're in summertime and the sun is out and it's very hot, you're going to be swelling more. So what I tend to do is I advise all my clients to put ice. So cool the area down, put an ice pack wherever it is, wherever you're getting your tattoo removal. I've got one here that I can show as an example. I would put the ice pack on there and keep it on there for as long as possible with a cloth in between, obviously, because we don't want to freeze the skin. Then after the first week, as it starts to heal and probably ongoing for the next three to four weeks, even sometimes five, you're going to get itching in between. Now, what I do when I do my tattoo removal on myself and what I do ask my clients to do is, or I advise them to do, because not everyone wants to do it, but I always say to put your oil, your massaging oil inside your fridge. So when you're putting it on and you're getting that itchy, you're instantly putting it and cooling it down so you don't end up itching it, because you can itch and itch and itch and forget that you're doing tattoo removal, and then you can obviously hurt yourself if you're itching too sharp or you have long nails. So I would say try and keep it cool to just get away from that itching feeling that is just not nice. The other thing that I'm gonna always advise anyone that's doing tattoo removal is to massage the area as much as possible. One, it will stimulate obviously the blood flow to rise, which will give you extra healing, and two, it will actually help you to remove the ink faster. So the more you're massaging and the more that blood rises, the more it's gonna take away the ink. So a few positives on tattoo removal. Obviously, when you have something on your skin that you do not like when it starts to go, it feels amazing. So after your second to third treatment, you're gonna to start to see most of the changes. Um, one really amazing thing about tattoo removal is if you do have any shading, very light work done, that can go a lot faster. So you're not gonna end up you know, having to come in every eight weeks for probably a year. So shading, fading, very light artwork can be taken off the skin a lot faster. Sometimes even four treatments can do. Everybody is different and everyone has a different immune system so the breakdown of the ink can vary. But on average when it is shading or fading or very light work, it can go faster. One of the positive things about having tattoo removal at Pulse Light Clinic is that we do have the two best machines. We have the Pico Way and we have the Pico Shore. Both amazing machines for tattoo removal. Highly recommend them. And then if we do have tattoos that benefit from an old machine, we also have the Q-Switch available with us as well. However, the Pico A and Pico Shore are my favorite machines and I, they're my babies, I love them. So they do give you really, really good results and cut the time between sessions. So with the old machine, you might be having 16 sessions. With the new ones, it might be eight sessions to 12 sessions. So it decreases the amount of sessions by breaking down the ink faster for you. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna finish here now with the pain and discomfort of tattoo removal. If you do have any more questions, please feel free to come in and see us for a free consultation. Myself or any of our other senior practitioners will be able to help you.